The workshop was hosted in St. Kitts at the ECCB headquarters, but included participants from member islands of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union via video conferencing. The participants were engaged by three facilitators, Sybil Welsh, Angela Rouse, and Laurel Bedford, who conducted interactive sessions on topics related to the financial sector in the ECCU. Senior Director of Corporate Relations Department Ingrid O'Loughlin explains why the ECCB continues to host workshops of this nature. The objective of this workshop is therefore aimed at deepening the engagement between the ECCB and the media and providing a forum to foster knowledge of and widen the discourse on current financial issues. Bank examiner Angela Rouse gave a monologue presentation to shed some light on the state of the region's financial system. All the banks them mm. having challenges, some got liquidity issues, some making losses. So how are you so sure that when I go for my $64.58, it would be there? You didn't <laughs> listen to the governor's presentation, good man. The ECCB mentioned, has mentioned a number of strategies that has been implemented to strengthen the financial system. The challenges faced by the commercial banks are mainly a spin-off from the global crisis. The ECCB has acknowledged these issues and has put things in place to mitigate these risks and to strengthen the resilience of the banking system. Participants from St. Kitts called the sessions informative and motivating. The sessions were quite informative and quite useful, not only for the part of information dissemination to the public, but also on personal levels, because we all take loans from banking institutions, we all have dealings with financial institutions. At the end of the day, I think I have walked away with enough knowledge to go and disseminate this information to the general public, and not just the knowledge, but an actual interest in giving this information to the public, a motivation. What would be great is for us in the media to come up with more creative ways to report on the financial institutions to gain the interests more of the public. So that's a challenge that we have to look into. Participating member states of the ECCU include Montserrat, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Dominica. Reporting for ZIZ News, I am Rolentia Henry.